guys going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to install no PDRM games on your PS Vita or your PS TV so let's go ahead and get started so go over to the link in the description and it will take you to this page and you want to download the no PDRM S KPRX right here so just click on it and you will get a direct download instantly after you've downloaded go ahead and save it on your computer like this and what we need to do right now is put the Vita in FTP mode so on your Vita go ahead and run your macular shell now press select and you want to enter that IP address in your FTP server so I will use FileZilla as my FTP server. I already connected the Vita before so you can just click on this down arrow and you will see that history that you have done. Now that's it. Now go to your UXO right here and go down to your TIE folder and you want to drag and drop it right into that folder. Okay so once that's done you want to press circle on your Vita and exit the FTP mode. You'll go down to your UXO folder and go all the way down to your tie. Now you want to edit the config text so press X and go down to kernel. Now you're going to press right on the D-pad and you're going to get that extra line. So go down and press X now you want to type the same exact thing what I'm going to type. So you need to type U X O colon tie slash no PDRM and you want to press the full stop S K P R X. So that's how it's supposed to be. So this down arrow right down here you're gonna press it and now you're gonna press circle and press X to save it after you have saved it you need to restart the Vita so press start go down to reboot and reboot the Vita okay so now the Vita has been rebooted you wanna go again and go inside macular shell Once you're in Macular Shell, you want to press select again and enter your FTP mode. Now let's reconnect to the Vita using the FileZilla again. Press OK. Alright, now go back to your UXO. Go to your app folder. And right here is where we're going to paste our game. So this is how your game folder is going to look. So what you want to do is enter it, you're going to see an app folder, enter that app folder and you're going to see the game folder. So this is how inside the game folder look. So just drag it and drop it right here. Okay, so now the file is done transferring over. If you transfer the game using the USB um, card, it's a lot faster. But let's go ahead and press circle. Now press the PS button and close the macular shell. After that go into Vita shell. And when you're in Vita shell, press triangle. And you want to do the top option that says refresh life area. Hit X hit X again and it's gonna refresh and as you can see it says refreshed one item so press X now press the PS button and close Vita shell now as you can see we now have our new game icon right there so if we go ahead and try it you will see that it works perfectly so that's how it is guys that's how easy it is so 
please like and share guys and i will see you guys in my next video